Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I converted my Star Wars Episode 1 pinball machine from using a CGA based CRT monitor into using a flat panel monitor. To accomplish this, I had to come up with a board that would allow me to combine the horizontal and vertical synchronization signals from the CGA monitor's video card into a composite signal that could then be fed into the GBS 8220 video up convert board. So I successfully made that board and now I'm selling it on car.us circuits as a kit. If you order that kit, first thing you'll get in the mail is an envelope that looks just like this. Inside that envelope, you're going to find a USB PCI card, two USB cables that we're going to use for powering equipment, and then you're going to actually get the video sync card itself. Now I want to show you a little bit of the technical details on how to install this. One, I want to be able to, I want you to notice that you won't see a soldering iron, you won't see any crimpers. We're just going to use a screwdriver. So let's take the the um, the synchronizing board here. And what I need to do to make this a little easier to install, remove the jack screws just like that so that you can take a, a fine screwdriver and run through that hole that allows you to easily turn these screws that attach to the computer itself. With that said, I'll go ahead and actually do that. So I'm attaching the, the USB combiner to the video card and then twisting this screw enough so that that doesn't come off easily. You'll want to do both screws. I'm doing just one screw here because brevity is the Brevity is important when shooting videos, apparently. Next, if you've ever installed a PCI card, you'll know that it's not too challenging to install one into any computer. And this is no different. It just pops right in like that. Now, we need to get power to our combiner. And we're going to do that with a USB cable that has A to A cables. A to A ends. One end plugs into the card we just installed, and one plugs into the video combiner. That's simple. This is a standard VGA cable. It comes out of the video combiner. It runs directly into the GBS. The GBS 8220 needs power. So we take this cable that comes in the kit, plug that into the barrel connector here, plug it into the USB card there. And that's it. That's a complete solution. USB power, the actual USB combiner itself, and GBS over to the monitor. We're going to turn this on, take a pause on the video, and show you the results. All right, welcome back. The computer has booted. Um, again, we've connected up the system. And you can see on the screen, even though we don't have the um, parallel or serial ports connected, that we do have a nice VGA signal uh, on the screen. So again, you can buy this kit on www.car.us. Thank you for watching.